Hey, I had a crazy idea this morning while I was eating my cereal. It's something that I've thought of a few different times, but I've never actually done it. And so I do what I do when I have crazy ideas. I tear apart my garage and I try them out. And now I have a bunch of new friends who might be interested in seeing it. So I thought I'd share this with you. Um, the camera lucida right here, current Kickstarter. I've done two other Kickstarters with some of the other devices I make. Um, Zoetrope right here. I'm going to show you that in a second, something I thought of. And then the Camera Obscura, which is the last one I did. Camera Obscura, Camera Lucida. It could get confusing because the names are similar. They do similar things, but there's lots of differences. Um, I'll put a link to the Kickstarter for the different devices so you can see the difference of each one. And also some links to where you can get them now if you're interested in this kind of stuff. Um, so basically what this is doing, it has a lens that's projecting an image onto a screen right here of this uh, still life, this Tickle Me Cookie Monster. Um, the spotlight is for the camera obscura. The camera lucida, you don't need a spotlight, but for this you do. And so I'm creating an image on this screen of it with the camera obscura. The image with the camera obscura has some really interesting effects. You can see it has, it adds depth, enriches color, it simplifies. It has a really beautiful sort of nostalgic old photo feel to it, which can be a really great inspiration when painting from the color and from just the depth that it adds. But when you want to start your drawing, it's, it's pretty small. And so I thought I would use the camera lucida to enlarge that image down onto a little pad here. And so that way you could, if you were doing this, you could take what you want to draw. You can see the beautiful image on the camera obscura. Use the camera lucida to copy down a pencil drawing of it, then go back to the camera obscura, paint off that as a reference to get all the color and depth and inspiration from the beautiful image. Um, so, it, I, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I just, mostly I just think it's a cool idea. I just um, love the idea that I have a still life that's going through the camera obscura that's then being reflected through a camera lucida down with my paper. It's like my own little system, little camera within a camera system of camera And um, I think it is super cool. So I'm just going to draw this little guy. I don't know how super practical this application is. Um, I think it's pretty cool. It worked really, really cool on the landscape. I think. I think that you could get some really do some really cool art with this this sort of thing. Mostly, I, I just think it's cool, and I just wanted to show you. And I have one other thing I want to show you too that I thought of while I was setting up for this. All right, so here's the other thing I was thinking of as I was setting up that I wanted to try, and uh, so I got the Zoetrope. Um, which is the Kickstarter I launched last year. Um, basically, it's an animation toy device thing. Got all these animation strips. You throw one in there. You look through the slots. And it creates the uh, illusion of movement as you watch it move through those slots. And so I, what I did to improve this thing is I put a light in, a lid, Again, I'll put a link to the Kickstarter. Get a better, this is, you know, much better look at it. This is kind of cheesy, but. Um, so what I wanted to do, I thought it'd be cool, because that image is like, got this flickering, really old, timey looking look to it. Looking, look, yeah, it was. Anyways, um, so I thought it'd be cool to project that image onto the screen in my camera obscura. Get the glowing light, gonna be able to do it. So I'm gonna set that up and then show you what it looks like. All right, so here's the setup. I'm gonna watch that image on the screen back here. I'm gonna hit the lights and we will see how well this works. There's the actual zoetrope. There's the image on the camera obscura. Looks so much cooler in person, though.
which you can all come in and see it. We have this like whirling image on the screen. And you see like the bouncing light from the zoetrope on the table. This phone cannot capture it very well though. Such a ghostly image. It's kind of strange. Now, this isn't that dissimilar from the magic lanterns that used to project an image like this up on a wall. Um, the difference being that they used a paraxinoscope, which uses mirrors instead of um, slots. So you lose a lot less of the light. So back before there was you know, electronic lights, that's the only animation toy that was bright enough to uh, project an image off of. Now with this zoetrope, that light inside compensates for that. And what they would do is instead of projecting, you know, this little image on the screen of a small box camera obscura, give it a lens and project the moving image up onto a wall.